Hello Automation Anywhere lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. In today's video, we're exploring another exciting automation technique. Get ready to learn how to automate your tasks like a pro. Let's get started. So let's see how can we convert TXT or CSV file into Excel file. For example, I have copied the data of uh, this web page and I will create a notepad file so let me paste the data in a notepad file and I will save this file as txt. You can see it contains new line, tab or commas. So I'll show you how can we use this comma, tab or new line when we convert the data. So I'm saving the file in this uh, A360 folder. And the name of the file is myscript.txt. I have saved this txt file. Now we will convert this txt file into an Excel file. So let me go to the control room and I have taken this open action of CSV, T, CSV and txt package. And here I have given the path of that file which we have created recently. And our file contains header. So I have given this header. delimiter uh, you can select any delimiter like uh, uh, like in a notepad file we had uh, we have that uh, tab uh, the data was separated by tab comma and the new line so you can use any of the delimiter and we can trim the leading spaces and trailing spaces after that we will read the data and we will get the data into a data table table from csv and then we can close the CSV TXT session. Now we will get the data of the notepad file into a, a data table and the data will be separated by a, a new line. So we are, uh, we will get that uh, data as new records for, for every new line. After that, we will create a workbook, Excel workbook. You can open any existing Excel workbook as well, but I am creating a new workbook. And here I have given the path of that Excel file which in which I want to write the data. And uh, after that, we need to write the data from the data table. So we will use that data table which uh, in which we get the data, data from the CSV file or the TXT file. So here we can select the first cell where we want to write the data. We can give the specific sheet name as well, but this is a new file. So the default sheet will be sheet. One. So let me run the board. And here you can see it is uh, creating a new workbook and writing the data. So our board has run successfully. And uh, here we can see a new Excel file has created recently. You can see the timestamp. Let me open this file. The .txt file has converted into Excel file and uh, this Excel file contains the data. Means it contains data in the new lines. So this is how we can convert the data and we can use the separator as per our requirement like see in CSV file the comma is the default separator. Similarly in notepad we can use specify a spe um, separator by which we want to separate our data. That's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for joining me. Remember to explore our Automation Anywhere A360 and Blue Prism playlists for more in-depth tutorials and tips. Check out our blog for informative articles on RPA and automation best practices. Don't forget to follow us on social media to stay updated on the latest trends and connect with other automation enthusiasts. Join our WhatsApp channel for job updates related to RPA tools and MNC companies. And if you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to join our WhatsApp group and connect with experienced RPA professionals. See you in the next video.